guys, welcome to Dhan. The commodity market is a place where some of the most essential goods and raw materials exchange hands. Normally, you'd think that farmers and other institutions may occupy this market. But the truth is, you as a retail trader can buy and sell commodities too via derivatives easily. In fact, you can start commodity trading in just three easy steps. But before we get to them, you can benefit from knowing the essentials of the commodity market. Let's walk through them one by one. There are many commodities traded in India, right from fruits to energy. But we should only focus on dealing in those commodities that are traded on the exchange and have liquidity and volume. Exchange traded means that the commodity derivatives operate in a standardized manner on an exchange such as MCX or NSE. And liquidity and volume mean that you're not the only one trading. There are many others placing the same or opposite trades. With that as a criteria, not many commodities make it into the mix. However, there are still enough commodity derivative contracts that get traded. For instance, gold futures alone in December 2022 have traded value of Rs. 531,180. So here are the types of commodities that are used for trading. Number 1. Bullion. This includes gold, gold mini, gold petal, gold guinea, silver, etc. Number 2. Base metals. This includes aluminium, copper, lead, nickel, and zinc. Number 3. Cereals, grains, pulses. This includes black pepper, crude palm oil, cotton, menta oil, rubber. And lastly, number 4. Energy. This includes natural gas and crude oil. These commodities form an essential core of the derivative segment. They are the ones with the highest liquidity and volume. While the commodity market of today may be bustling with these many types of commodities, its beginnings were very humble. India's first organized and managed commodity futures trading establishment was founded in 1875. And back then, only cotton futures were traded on the exchange aptly called the Bombay Cotton Trade Association. Shortly after discontent amongst various cliques, another exchange was established by the name Bombay Cotton Exchange. Later, derivative trading opened up in 1900 for other commodities like oil seeds, courtesy of the Gujarati Vyapari Mandali. Fast forward to 2022, multiple commodities are traded on multiple exchanges. So here is the list of exchanges where commodities are traded. At this point, you must be wondering why there are so many exchanges for commodity trading, especially if you are coming from a background in online stock trading. Let's take a step back. The reason why centralized commodity exchanges exist is to mitigate counterparty risk. Back in the day, buyers and sellers often ran the risk of entering into worthless contracts. A buyer may pull out, a seller may lose their products and so on. This was solved by establishing centralized exchanges that could see to it that counterparty risk is minimal, if not obsolete. Centralized exchanges also lead to the standardization of futures and options. These are just some of the reasons why there are commodity exchanges. In India, each commodity exchange gives you access to a set of raw materials and goods whose derivatives you can trade. MCX lets you trade derivatives for aluminium and zinc, while NCDEX allows it for steel long. These are metals, by the way, which can be traded during a specific time in the commodity market. Now let's understand the nitty-gritty of the functionalities of the commodities market. Every market has an opening and a closing time. The commodity market is no different. Trading begins at 9 am and goes on till 11.30 pm. This is known as commodity trading time. During this window, you can trade commodity futures and options for base metals, precious metals and other non-agri products till 11.55 pm. However, agri products can only be traded till 5 pm. Holidays are a part and parcel of life, not just the markets. During some of these holidays, the commodity market remains closed. Alright, so to trade in commodities, you'll need to open a commodity trading account with an authorized broker. Most traders choose their broker based on several factors. Some of them evaluate the features, while others check margin, leverage, DPC and more. Speaking of awesome features, you can trade commodities directly from TradingView charts on Dhan. Once you choose your broker, the next step is to complete the KYC process. This is essential to verify your identity and proof of income. Furthermore, the information you provide during your KYC is an important component of your contract note. 
which captures the trades that you make on every exchange. The broker, depository and commodity exchanges will verify your KYC documents. After you get all the necessary approvals, your commodity trading account will be active. What after? Simply fund your account and start trading commodities. And there is no better platform than Dhan to make your trades.